Welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play with Sambo and Blaze Purple and today we're joined by the latest member of the Super Zeros League, Magus Venator, who you can see in the background there. And we're inside the Ace Monarch, sorry, the Monarch Playing Card Factory, which is a instance. Um, and it's apparently got a lot of puzzles in it, and we're we have a couple of uh, quests to do, which is to find out where the Riddler is and what he knows. Plus there's also another one here somewhere. Let me find it. Playing with a full deck. Find and collect aces hidden in the Monarch playing cards factories, which is where we're at. Um, and according to Magus, there's a lot of puzzles to solve in this instance. So wish us luck, and here we go. Alright, so it's interesting. Why is that white? It looks like I've already got that. I'm not sure how. Maybe I've already been here. Anyway, it looks like here's an ace card. Here we go. So we've got one of four playing cards. Got some puzzle here. Hello, Batman. When is a door not a door? When it's a jar. The door to what I know is definitely a jar, Batman. If you can find your way to me. Ready? Riddle me this. What never speaks, yet shows the way? Get to the point, it's clear as day. Good lord. Okay, not sure what we're meant to do there. I guess that's some kind of puzzle. Whoa, that's a lot of mobs. Now just for the record, um, Magus is obviously... Whoa, I'm trapped. Yikes. Magus has obviously uh, chosen Bow as his weapon. But in case you're wondering, his abilities are actually mental. As in, not as in crazy. Who is this? Whoa. You're not Batman, but clearly working with Batman, or you never would have found me. Very well. Solve my riddles and you will find me and my message for the Dark Knight. Very cool. Alright, that's two of four playing cards. Um, yeah, so Magus is bow and mental, so he's obviously got a lot of crowd control abilities going on, as well as some shielding stuff to protect us, which... If you were watching that previous episode, you will have seen him do a group shield uh, ability, which is good. And it looks like I've missed something. Hmm, what's he trying to tell me? First riddle answer is in here. Oh, okay. So, what was the... Uh, I wonder if it's a quest. Riddle me this. Maybe it's this. No, it's not that one. Playing with a full deck. Oh, I can't remember what the riddle was. But that's good. He's not giving it away. Let's see if we can figure it out. Solve the first riddle. Each one usually means finding a secret in a room, he says. Okay. So let's do that. Hmm. Ah, look at that. Alright, so he's exposed that for me. See what it says. All right, now we sort of know what to expect. Let's see what this is. Obviously, the second one. Riddle me this. Want to get past my locks? Start to think outside the box. What I'm trying to convey will build you, so don't delay. Alright, so the key words in that, that one seem to be belt, convey, so obviously it's 
in a box on the conveyor belt, I'd say. Bit of laser eye action there, never goes astray. I think it's time for a volcano, what do you think? Boom! And I'm level 24, and it's my favourite ability, the volcano. Look at that. Possibly the best ability I've ever seen in a game ever. Love that. We'll leave my skill point adjusting tool later on. Where I will probably invest a point in the power called Reignite, which was something that one of the YouTube um, commenters suggested that I get. So we'll do that. Right, so I'm smashing these boxes in case there's a clue. Hold E. Ah, there we go. We have the clue. Yay! Alright, so time to move on. Oh, and there's a collectible. We like that. Riddler here. The Soma Cube is akin to an elegant philosophy, but I'm sure someone of your mental capacity is more familiar with the brightly colored Puzzle Cube. Alright, another riddle no doubt. Very good. The answer to the final riddle? Me, of course. But you'll only get through if you solve all my riddles. And um, Magus is saying that he got stuck on this for an hour. So I'm guessing it's a tough one. Alright, and there's the Riddler over there. It's very cool. Good old laser beam eyes. Hurry! Get them while they're down! Ouch! Do a bit of health smashing there. And an inferno always never goes astray. Excellent. All right, now I think we've got to... Oh, wait a minute, there's something over there. And another puzzle. Three sons seeking fortune made their way along a road one bright fine day they came at last to a triforked road and each a different route now strode the middle son the left path tread with dreams of riches in his head and it says there the youngest took the middle path. the eldest the right road did claim a fine estate was his good aim hmm Roads did wind and twist and bend, but each path's a strange dead end. To dodge his fate, so say the sages, order their paths, but instead their ages. Oh. Now, if only we were able to replay the riddle. Let me ask if there's any way of doing it. I guess the only way is to actually activate the box again. Okay, let's pay attention this time. Three sons, seeking fortune, made their way along a road one bright fine day. They came at last to a triforked road, and each a different route now strode. Alright, so here we go. The middle, middle son, son, the left path left. tread, 
with dreams of riches in his okay, head. Okay, so left is second. The youngest took the middle pass. A wife he hoped to find at last. Middle first. All right, so I think the, the middle roads first. The did wind and twist and bend. Then but the left. Each path seemed a strange dead end. To dodge this fate, so say the sages, order not their paths, but we instead. We did it. All right, we actually managed to solve that puzzle. Whoa! You got a big drop down there. All right. I guess down we go. Got to say, loving the game more and more the further we get on in because, of course, it's instances like this which aren't just. Oh, there's a loot crate. Which aren't just straight run to the end and uh, kill a boss. You've actually got to work out some puzzles. I like it a lot. Um, now what's this? Modern Gorilla Weave. I don't think... We haven't collected that before. So that would be nice, but... Um, let's ask if he's got that already. Oh, and I can't chat. Wait a minute. Clear this. Do you have that style already? if he has then uh, we'll need on it because it's one that I haven't got because of course as you know we're always looking to grab more styles so I'm just asking if I can need that so I can collect that style which is insectoid Oh, and he's saying that he's passing on everything anyway, which is very kind. Alright, so let's grab that style. In fact, no, we'll do that another time, rather than, rather than waste his time. Alright, so this is interesting. Look at this. It's like some lounge library area with uh, leather chairs. We've got a collectible over here, which of course we must, must get. Riddler here. This puzzle box, when correctly put together, reveals an internal secret. <sighs> Think of it like the prize inside a box of booster bits. All right, so he's saying this is where it gets rather tough. So I guess we have to go up and talk to the Riddler. Very cool. Very cool indeed. What does the riddle look like? Oh yes, yeah. suitably crazy. Apologies for my overly protective bodyguards. I had, of course, already determined that you aren't Joker's assassin. What are you looking at? Your time's up, Enigma. I never fail a contract. It's Deathstroke! You have to protect me from him! I'll tell you everything! Just don't let him kill me! Uh-oh. I'll kill him for free. All right. Wow, he's zipping around lots. Unfortunately, oh, he's attacking the Riddler. Let's get in there and try and blast him away. Oh yeah, he's one Stop tough nut. I can't believe we're actually having to help help the Riddler. The contract said nothing about keeping you in one piece. Get down! Yikes. Looks like we've got to take cover somewhere. Because he's using a grenade launcher. Good lord. Why 
bad stroke. I I'd never have thought man feigned to use 90% of his brain would have figured it out already. Jokers played you. Check your bank account if you don't believe me. I see. The Joker's transfer was denied for insufficient funds. There you are. No money, no contract. No funeral for you, Riddler. Goodness me. And what do we got there? We've got a blue. Which is always good. Um, I'll just greed on that. Yeah, gosh. Lucky that I had uh, Majus Venator there to <laughs> help me out. Let's have a chat with the Riddler and see what he's got to say. After that, maybe I don't mind Batman not showing after all. Tell Batman. T.O. Morrow was working with the Joker, but he's gone rogue. That toxin is far more dangerous than anything the Joker's used before. And T.O. Morrow has the real formula. Now, I'm going to go hide somewhere where the Joker will never find me. Come on, girls. All right, we get to, whoops, hopefully it's a moving comic. The uh, end of the storyline instance. Riddles. Enigmas wrapped in conundrums. And with Morrow gambling with the Joker, all bets are off. Because what kind of hand do a Joker and an ace make? A dead man's hand. Or try this one. The man who makes it doesn't want it. The man who wants it doesn't use it. The man who uses it will never know he has it. Give up. A coffin. Riddle me this. Can anyone win this war? They are so cool, aren't they? Gotta love that at the end of every storyline, mission is an amazing moving motion comic like that is just fantastic look at that defeat death stroke got a couple of achievements there three achievements which is great because that'll also give me another skill point and the only thing that could ever get death stroke to back off a hit is lack of funds it's a point of honor i'd say the joker just made a serious enemy and that if the riddler is really as smart as he thinks he is He'll take Echo and Query and stay hidden for a while. All right. Now that we know the Joker is working with T.O. Morrow, we can start making plans to take them both down. The new Joker toxin is far too dangerous to leave in their hands, not to mention Morrow's Jokerized robots. Thank you for your help today. Speak to Nightwing in the safe house. Batman out. All right. Well, as usual, that was a really fun instance. Let's see how far away the police station is. Ah, oh, it's not far. So I guess we can go hand that in. Uh, we'll let them know. Uh, and we'll see what he has to say. So let's head to the police station to wrap up this episode. And it looks like I've got some new mail there as well. Um, but yes, as I was saying, as you can tell, every story instance definitely has some unique twist depending on the enemies that you're up against. And they're certainly not just a tank and spank, um, run to the end, beat up a boss type affair. There's always some kind of mechanic going on to make it more interesting, which is one of the things I love about this game. It's just fantastic. <coughs> Excuse me. So, where's the police day? Oh, yep. It's great having the beams up in the sky, of course, so you can always tell what's going on and how far away you are from your nearest safe house or um, police station. Same thing. All right, there we go. 
Let's hop inside and hand in before we wrap up the episode. Hey, gee, you got there quick. Didn't even see him following me on the minimap. Oh dear, terrible driving skills today. And looks like Nightwing is there. Yeah, there we go. So you made it out alive against Deathstroke. You're one tough customer. And that's good because with T.O. Morrow working with the Joker, we're gonna need every hero we've got. Excellent stuff. And I think that the quest had already completed, so that's all that we have for that storyline. So a big thanks to Magus for helping me out there. I hope you I certainly hope you enjoyed that episode of the Monarch Playing Card Factory with uh, my, myself, Sambo, and of course the very Egyptian-looking Blaze Purple and the Mental Powered Bow Magus. So until next time, take care, and we'll see you then. Bye bye.